I'm Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and today in this tutorial I will show you how to create your own PayPal Buy Now button using the WP eStore plugin. Once you have completed this tutorial you will have created a page or a post that looks something similar to mine that includes your very own Buy Now button. So you're able to see how the Buy Now button works before creating your own I'm just going to run through the PayPal transaction. So I'm going to buy my product and this will take me straight to my PayPal. So once in, I'm in my PayPal, I'm just going to continue. I'm going to pay now. I've paid and it should directly link me to my thank you page from here, where I'm easily able to access what I've paid for. So as you can see, thank you. I've created this page previously. Um, but here is what I've paid for. The link is straight there and I'm easily able to download it. So this is what I've paid for my cookbook. But yours could be a PDF um, or any other sort of document. So now that you can see how the Buy Now button works, we're going to create our own. So we'll go to the dashboard. You can create a post, but I'm going to create a page for this one. Um, add new. And we'll give it a title and I'll give it a bit of a description um, to entice the buyer to want to click the buy now button which I'll place at the end. Now that I've added in a bit of a description we will need to add the buy now button so I'll simply just save this as a draft for now until I create my product and then I'll insert the buy now button. So if you go to the WPE store add edit products and we're going to add a new product, which is right here. So we'll give it a product name. Mine is going to be high resolution food image. So it's going to be $4.95, but for the purpose of this, I'm just going to make it one cent so we can go through again at the end and I'll show you the PayPal transaction. So you can add in additional product details if you choose a description and an image, but for mine, I'm not going to add in these. I'm just going to continue to scroll down and add my digital content details. So this will allow you to add in anything that you wish the buyer to be able to purchase. So mine is an image. I'm going to go in and select the image that I want to sell. Insert. But yours could be a document or anything else you like. So now I'll just continue to scroll down. There's a whole lot of other things that you can add in if you wish. But for now, I'm just going to save my product. So now it's important to take note of your product ID. So now I'm just going to quickly find my draft, high resolution image with my draft, and we'll add in the buy now button. So I'll come down here. I've got to go to the short codes, the buy now. I'm just going to select the normal one, but there is other fancy ones that you can use if you wish. And my product ID was 11. Just now I'm going to save again. And now all I need to do is publish. Now I'm going to view just to make sure everything's working and I'll run through the PayPal transaction. So mine's a high resolution image that are perfect for your wallpaper, easy to download and can be downloaded as many times as you wish on one chosen computer. $4.95 one-off payment. So usually this product's going to be $4.95, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I've just put it as one cent. So I'm going to buy now. Just noting that you can actually add an image as well, um, which I haven't. So buy now. I'm going to continue. Pay now. And that's going to take me back to my thank you page where I'll get my image. Now that you understand how to create a simple buy now button, I'm going to go in and add a few extra details. So firstly, I'm just going to add an image to give the viewers a bit of an understanding about what's for sale. So I'm just going to add the thumbnail to ensure it can't be copied. Perfect. And I'm going to scroll down and update. So the next thing I want to show you is how you can actually customize your own buy now button. 
So we're going to go over to the WP eStore, Manage Products. So mine was number 11. I'm just going to edit that. And in Additional Product Details, there are multiple fields, but we're going to go down to the Button Image URL. So this is where you can customize what sort of button. Um, you can just upload a file. Mine's this Buy Now one that I'm going to use. And I'll insert that. So now when I save this and I go back to where my page is and I preview it, you'll see that my image is now there and that I have this customized Buy Now button. Now that we've completed and tested our Buy Now button, you'll be able to successfully receive sales. That's the end of this tutorial on how to create a Buy Now button, but if you still have any further questions or queries, we suggest heading over to the forum or alternatively emailing us.